Ready to nail biter lawmakers vowed to get this done today and in just the past 30 minutes that 900 billion dollar stimulus bill was passed by the house the senate is voting on it right now it will soon be on its way to the president's desk tonight both mayor bill de blasio and governor cuomo say it's just not enough the yeas are 359, the nays are 53. It's a pandemic relief bill months in the making that for so many struggling Americans falls far short of expectations. Just last week, over 900,000 people filed for unemployment. It's a good bipartisan bill. Still lawmakers tried to put a positive spin on it. More help is on the way. The deal extends and enhances unemployment until March by $300 per week. It was set to expire just after Christmas for as many as 12 million Americans. As for those stimulus checks, Americans making less than 75,000 will get $600 for each family member, including children. A family of four would get $2,400. The deal also includes $25 billion for rental assistance and an eviction moratorium extension, $20 billion for vaccine distribution, $15 billion for hard-hit arts and entertainment venues, $13 billion for food assistance, and some non-pandemic-related items like $1.4 billion for President Trump's border wall and border security. Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio blasted the bill, which does not include direct aid to local municipalities, cities, or states. I can't even call what the Congress has agreed to a stimulus. The National Governors Association sent a letter to Congress asking for $500 billion in state and local assistance. Do you know what we got in this bill? Zero. Nada, niente. But Senator Chuck Schumer, the minority leader, estimates New York will see about $54 billion in aid when you add things like unemployment relief, stimulus checks, and rents and food assistance. We fought very hard for state and local aid. Um, McConnell blocked it, but we found other ways to get it. The amount they have now for the places we put will help tide the state over, but we need more, no question. New York needs a lot more. The city faces a $13 billion budget cap over the next four years, while New York State faces a $15 billion hole right now. Live in the newsroom, I'm Cristian Benavides, Pixel of News.